Blessed be everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to use energy in magic. But before we do, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to know more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. If you want to know where to start your witchcraft practice, have a look at the how to start your witchcraft practice. It's a free video that just guides you in knowing where to start the beginning of your practice but also how to pace yourself along the way the link to that is in the description field below this video and you can also get uh, merchandise with witchy themes from the mystical witch store the link to that is in the description field below this video as well there's t-shirts mugs and various other things on the merch store so do take a look when we're working magic we are working with energy everything is energy 99% of our atomic structure is energy. Everything is vibrating. We think things are solid. They're not. They're actually vibrating energy, just vibrating at a slower pace than other things. And when we start to look at the world as a more of an energetic uh, place to be in, we start to see the magic in the world and we start to understand uh, how magic can work and how it works by uh, manipulating and working with energy. Energy is something that is constant. It never dies. It's always there. It's continuous. And we can use that energy in order to be able to restore ourselves as well as to be able to project out and uh, create the lives that we want to create. Our thoughts are energy and we can create energetic thoughtful forms that we can send out into the world to be able to draw things to us that we want to draw to us uh, or to uh, do things that we want to have happen in the world. Our emotions are energetic. They are basically energy. And a lot of the time when we're in intense emotional states, we're actually using up a lot of our own energy. We're wasting it a lot of the time uh, by being emotional all the time. So it's understanding that we work with emotion in magic, but when we're working with emotion in magic, we're actually working with it in a very functional way and in a way that is uh, to direct that energy into a particular way. We also have tools that we use in magic. We've got the herbs, we've got crystals, uh, we work with the planetary energies, all of these are energetic, they all vibrate, and they all have certain energetic frequencies that can line up with our intent. We're constantly being influenced by the energy of other people, by their, their thoughts and their emotions. If you're an empath, you probably really know this, that it's really difficult for you to be able to decipher sometimes what somebody else's energy uh, and what's your own. Is this somebody else's thought or is this my thought? because you're so sensitive to energy. So energy is something we have to learn to work with uh, for magic, but also for our own health and our own sanity as well. So in magic, we need to know quite a few things about energy. First of all, we need to know how to have more energy for ourselves because it takes energy to do magic. Mag you'll know if you've done a magical working that uh, afterwards you may feel, you may feel tired you may feel like you just don't want to concentrate or focus afterwards because you've actually expended some energy. So in magic, you learn, need to learn how to bring energy in and you also need to learn how to direct energy out. But another important aspect about energy is that we also need to learn how to conserve our energy and not give it away. And this is something that for empaths is particularly important. When we're constantly caught up in the emotional day-to-day -day of our lives, we're constantly giving out energy. And we want to make sure that that is not something that we're doing unconsciously because we want to keep our energy for ourselves. The more energy we have, the healthier we are and the more we can do. So understand that one of the ways that we, uh, we lose energy is through our emotions. It's, it's one of the ways that we really get drained of our energy. If you felt a lot of anger, you'll know how draining and tiring that is. And our thoughts 
are connected to our emotions as well. So one of the reasons we do shadow work in magic is so that we can learn to be more aware of our thoughts and our beliefs so that we do have uh, less expenditure with our emotions. And both positive and negative emotions, or what we label positive and negative emotions, also expend energy. So whether we're feeling joyful or whether we're feeling angry, we're still putting energy out there. If you're an empath or psychic, you'll no doubt sense the energy around you. When you go to different environments, you'll feel different types of uh, energy. That energy is, is generally uh, a feeling of maybe a heaviness or there might be a lightness depending on what type of uh, intent is behind that energy. But you'll no doubt feel it in some way, shape or form in your body. So when we're working with energy, think of it as like the breathing process. When we breathe, we breathe in, there's a very short moment where we're not breathing in or out. It's like a hold and then we breathe out again. If you've done any magical breathing techniques or if you've done Qigong or any of the uh, pranayama in yoga, you probably have come across various different types of breathing where you breathe in, you hold for a certain amount of time and then you breathe out. All of this is working with the energy in your body and all of the different ways of breathing manipulate how energy is moving through your body. And as magical workers, we need to understand that we need to be working towards bringing energy in as much as we need to be focused on how to put that energy out into the world. Because if we're putting more energy out than we're getting in, we're going to run at a deficit. And that's not good health-wise, and it's not good for the results of your magic either. So learning to breathe and bring the energy in is as simple as focusing on your breath, and as you're breathing in, it's like you're sucking in the energy that's around you. Now, there's various different ways you can do this. You can suck the energy up through the earth, through like tree roots, up through the branches that might be, you may imagine, are coming out from your body and sucking that energy down into the trunk of your body. Other ways of doing it can be feeling that the energy is coming into the pores of your skin. If you do qigong or any of those other breathing techniques, you may use your body to be bringing that energy in. But bringing it in and making sure that you have enough of that is the best way to start your spell work. Then when you feel like you've got enough energy in, you can then start to do your spell work, which is putting the energy out. If you're charging up a talisman or an amulet, or you're working with a spell candle, or you're programming a crystal, one of the easiest ways to do that is just to send the energy out through the palms of your hand because we, they're, they're definitely an area where we can send energy out. You can also send energy out through your eyes. You can send the energy out through your speech. So when we, we talk to a spell candle or we talk the spell into the talisman, we're actually putting energy out into the talisman or the, the spell candle. And while we're breathing that energy out or putting that energy out into the object, into the petition, the candle, what we're actually doing at the same time is focusing on our intent. So that's the thought and experience of ourselves having or doing what it is that we're doing the spell for and also what the emotional feeling is as well. So that's why in magic we say, you know, use your visualization, see yourself having already attained whatever it is that you're doing the spell for. Feel into what that feels like. You know, how do you feel having that thing, doing that thing? How does that feel? And then you breathe out or project the energy out through your hands into the, into the object, and that's you putting the energy out into the world. So you breathe your energy in, get yourself well and truly stocked up of energy, and then you're putting that energy out. And you put that energy out for as long as you feel that you need to do it. It doesn't have to be for that long. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.